So Peter will be go donate 15 million naira for to nursing school. <laughs> PC <laughs> people begin the shout. <laughs> Why can't he carry the money and come and join Tunubu and push Nigeria forward? <laughs> Why are you donating the money alone? <laughs> you want people to t take you as a good person. <laughs> Yes, donating the money is good, but why can't he join hands with two? <laughs> <Aye. laughs> I don't understand these people at all. <laughs> Nigeria, now one kind of people will go use their hand, come out what they want, then come they pray for waiting they know want, where they bring inside their life, make the thing change. <laughs> It just be like a woman where use her hand, go marry man where they beat them because the man they give her money. <laughs> then can they pray for the man to change? <laughs> God, I wish that this man that gives me money will change and become the other man. <laughs> How possible is that? I'm <laughs> pissed this a bit of annoying thing. This one now is getting annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, say campaign is over. <laughs> now it's time for people to live their normal life. <laughs> if they hear any other politician, they give money outside. <laughs> Every other person don't come back to their normal life. Oh. I don't come here to give anybody anything. <laughs> Only people be now they live a man's normal life. <laughs> Not be to wear woman clothes be the problem. <laughs> Once he reach time for period, we go know who be the real woman. <laughs> now it's time to know the person where really they give. <laughs> Not only Peter will be there outside there, Peter will be is outside. Peter will be now in Apokoli. <laughs> <laughs> Peter B is outside the donation. Every other person don't go inside. No, I don't feel compete with this man. <laughs> Why then they tell us say stop giving? <laughs> no, 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 because it be like competition to them. Let me see, say the money he's even giving is not even too much. Fifty million. <laughs> How much you give and keep for you? <laughs> Mama Mia. Because if you're speaking about the law, people were a little bit perplexed and puzzled in regards to the five-man panel led by Justice Imani and sections 52 and 65 of the Electoral Act, which granted INEC the freedom to prescribe the method of transmitting results. And you and I know there is no secret. There are video evidences everywhere where INEC vowed and insisted that electronic transmission of results yes. is the only way out. And they decided to renege on their promises. Okay. okay. So quickly, please, Ed, because I wanted to address that area. Okay. When a, a provision of the law gives a discretion and somebody says, I am going to do it this way. On the day of that election, that same person comes to say, for the reason of force major, I can no longer do it that way. I will do it this other way. What the court will do, the court cannot take away that discretion because it is not a discretion donated by the court, but by the law. And what the court simply said is this unanimously, both the Supreme Court has said this, the Federal High Court has said this, the Court of Appeal has said this repeatedly. What the court simply said is, INEC has the discretion. The word didn't say shall. They said at, as, as stated by INEC. So if INEC gave a regulation and they are not able to comply with that regulation, 
Does the law permit them that discretion? The answer is yes. That is what the law simply said. And then lastly, on this, do you know that the same issue that we are talking about now, the Supreme Court, in the case of Oshun, when the Supreme Court delivered judgment, those that are complaining today, today, we are celebrating. On the same IREV, I, the Supreme Court, not Court of Appeal now, the Supreme Court said that INEC has a discretion. The PDP celebrated it and they said it was victory for democracy. APC complained that it shouldn't be. But today, it is in favor of APC. The same PDP that celebrated before are complaining. The APC that were complaining before are today celebrating. That is the law. It does not pander to sentiment. Let me, let me say very importantly that my brother here talked about um, the status of Abuja. Section two nine nine. Go to IREV. No. The Court judgment on Section two nine nine on the status of Abuja talks about Abuja. We are not really presumed. Just go can to can I can I just talks about Abuja clearly uh, being presumed as a state on three accounts, not with respect to elections. Every state has its provision regarding side elections. Side please. Sessions, please. Every Can state has its provision regarding elections. And you do not lump Abuja. Abuja does not have two senat three senators. Abuja has one senator. Abuja does not have a governor. Abuja has a minister Abuja over Abuja. Abuja does, not, Abuja does not have a state cabinet. Abuja has a development authority. Abuja, by constitution, by the constitution, is unique and special. And those who live in Abuja are not necessarily settlers. They are, they, you have indigents and you have people from different places. So for those who, Please, if you read, no, listen, I'm, I'm talking, I let you talk. I let you talk. The, the fundamental issues is that when people decide, and it was Sir Walter Scott who said, oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. You know, when we look at these issues, you don't sacrifice justice on the altar of technicalities. And that's the fundamental uh, argument that I'm making here. If you wake up and tell me that regarding for future, for instance, the present CJN of the country had ruled, and why didn't the court mention that ruling where he, he admitted, he admitted in that case, Mohamed Abacha against the Federal mm -hmm. Republic of Nigeria. He talked about for future clearly as a punitive, as a punishment for an offense, or in, even in civil matters, our constitution in section 137, subsection 1, talks about when you, are, when, you are, when you have for future, either for criminal or civil offense, you lack the constitutional right to run for the office of president. So I don't understand where people get the validity for a, a judgment that is absolutely against the intent of a law, absolutely political, absolutely patronizing of the ruling party. But I said this to you clearly, um, and to Nigerians, that we will continue to test this whole, because ultimately what is important is that the man who must occupy the seat of power must not only be honorable, must, but, but must be seen to have won fair and square and according to the provisions of the law. What happened? clearly without a convocation on the 6th of September, was miscarriage of justice. It was judgment read to suit the puppeteer by the five puppets of the court. Quickly, quickly, I do not, like I said, I want to discuss law. I want to discuss law, I, want, I don't want to discuss sentiment. Section 137, section 137, sub 1, says a person shall not be qualified for the election to the office of the president if he is under a sentence of death imposed by a court of competent jurisdiction, a competent uh, law or tribunal in Nigeria, or a sentence of imprisonment or fine for any offense involving, let me finish, really? let me finish. Fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called or for any other offense imposed on him or imposed on him by any court or tribunal 
or submitted by a competent authority for any other sentence imposed on him by such a court or tribunal. And within a period of not less than 10 years before the date of the election of the, of, to the office, he has been convicted and sentenced for an offense involving dishonesty or has been found guilty of fraud or contravention of the code of conduct. Then if you go to section 299, I will take the two of them together because of the time. Section 299 says, because you cannot, you cannot be reading into election petition cases what is not there. Read the dictum. I will have to Section 299 says that for the purpose, quickly permit me, that for the that for the purpose of this constitution, in interpreting this constitution, so look, the provisions of this constitution apply, shall apply. The word shall apply to the federal capital territory Abuja as if it were shall apply, shall apply, as if it were one of the states of the Federation of, one of the states of the Federation. All right then, Mr. Libros, unfortunately, and unfortunately, so, because so, of time, so, Mr. Well, Libros and Mr. Chris Wankovia, maybe we're going to have another particular conversation like this. On which you can apply Mr. Libros and Mr. Chris, we have run out of time, but I can see.